How you doing, everybody? Welcome back to Serene Madness. Uh, a few people have asked me if I'm still gardening. Uh, yes, I am. Um, I did a lot of work, several hours in the garden today. Uh, just just wrapped it up. Uh, what you're looking at over here is essentially herbs. That's all herbs over there that I planted and some daylilies. And there's some stuff in those pots. There's the old, old Glory, which is all faded, of which I do have a new flag, which is going to go up soon, before uh, the 4th. I just have to put it up. I have to grommet it. And uh, it doesn't have any grommets on it. So i got to grommet it and put hang it up. So that one's going to go. Um, so yeah, that's the herb section of my garden. I grow a lot of herbage. Yes, I do grow a lot of herbage. Um, over here, uh, this big stretch of, of land right here. Still in development. Uh, this is kind of a rebuilding year. I've been doing this now for about five years. Um, we have irises and daylilies over there. We got some hostas. Which are those big green leafy things. There's a couple of them. Um, in the back, up there near the tree, well, that tall thing. Um, I'm not exactly sure what that is. It's a wildflower. Right next to it, we have some peppermint. There's some echinacea right next to that right there. And if you can see all those little sticks back there that are sticking up out of the ground, uh, me and my son Nick uh, spent a good hour or so um, planting a whole bunch of uh, shade perennials, which will, if they survive, uh, they will grow back every year. And um, they'll all fill in back there near that tree. And then all that empty space right there We'll all get filled in with ground cover and some bigger shade plants. On the end, I have an azalea bush that I'm putting in, a big red azalea bush that likes to be under trees. So right now, I'll switch swing around um, over here. Up there, I have, uh, on the end is the azalea. I'm keeping it in a pot right now because um, some of those plants I want to grow and all that's all those plants and pots are all perennials they grow back every year and I'm keeping them in pots for now and waiting for them to get big enough to actually plant in the ground because I've made that mistake in the past and didn't wait um, until they were big enough and they all died off so um, I got some strawberries in that middle one and I got some um, more daily day lilies of different colors. I love day lilies. They're the easiest thing to grow and they're just beautiful. Uh, there's the grapevine. I've chopped the hell out of it and shrunk it down. Uh, there is some grapes growing on it. I don't know if I'll get any this year, but it's more or less a decoration. And uh, they do make the leaves make really good um, uh, stuffed grape leaves, which once the leaves get big enough, I harvest them. And to make stuffed grape leaves out of them. So those are good. Uh, over there in that blue pot is um, mini bell peppers, which I harvested the seeds from. Uh, little tiny bell peppers that I obtained from the food pantry. Because uh, myself, as well as Mama Madness and Nick, uh, we get a majority of our food um, from the food pantry, which helps immensely. Um, if it wasn't for the food pantry in the food pantries across America, uh, people wouldn't be able to eat. Um, if you are a part of my um, Instagram, which the link is in the description box below, um, hit me up on Instagram, subscribe to that. And uh, I do, one of my uh, passions is I love to cook. And believe it or not, most people don't realize that the majority of the stuff that you see that I post in my Instagram, that I, of all the stuff I cook, the majority of it is food pantry food. So check it out. Uh, go to my Instagram. I'm constantly food blogging on my Instagram, so do that. I also have my Facebook link in the description box below, as well as the Serene Madness um, mailing address. If anybody wants to send me mail, they can. The address is below. And um, so, yeah all my social media links and everything and down there. Um, right there in the middle, we have tomatoes. Um, the tomatoes are actually popping. There's a bunch of tomatoes on there. And over there in the corner, we have another 
mini bell pepper plant. So hopefully we'll get some bell peppers out of there and they're multicolored bell peppers too, so they're really cool. The blue part in the corner is actually going to get moved to this corner and hopefully within the next few weeks um, I'm going to be building a P made out of uh, PVC pipe. I have this really, really cool idea that I got off of uh, actually Instagram and here comes the picture right here. Um, that idea I really really dig and what it is it's a tower made out of PVC and I have in this pot right here in the middle pot is I have strawberries grown in there and strawberries like to like to hang um, so I'm gonna build a tower you know maybe like a five-foot tower over there in the corner with um, PVC couplings and PVC, large PVC. I'm gonna fill it up with potting soil. I got some potting soil right there. And I'm gonna take the strawberries and transplant them into it, and I'll have a gigantic tower of, eventually have a gigantic tower of strawberries uh, over there in the corner. Those are Ozark strawberries, which are really, really awesome. Um, they grow really fast and you get a lot of strawberries out of them, so I love strawberries. So that's going to be an awesome thing when that happens. Thought I'd show you the garden a little bit and see that I do. I am still gardening, so I'll show you some more stuff as um, the plants get bigger and more mature and start blooming. Uh, I do love it that the daisies right there are coming up. There's a whole bunch of more daisies over there, and over here. Actually, right here, I'll show you this one. Um, here is, I love these. These are my favorite plants. These are daylilies. And that is a, I believe it's a wine daylily. I love these plants. They're so easy to grow. And they are the easiest thing to grow. And they're just gorgeous. And these just started coming up. So there it is. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll finish off with that guy. A little, little awesomeness. Makes me happy. Find your serene and mad world, everyone. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click that bell button because it all helps. Um, check out everything in the description box below. Please comment um, and all that stuff. I appreciate you all. Find your serene and mad world. I'm out. <laughs> Easy peasy lemon squeezy.